A really neat story related to the Battle for the Pacific is that of the Doolittle Raids, which was organized by the Air Force Lieutenant Colonel James Doolittle. After the Pearl Harbor attack, the U.S. was looking for something to boost morale. They saw that Japan was just so strong, so powerful, and they were so prepared, they needed something to encourage the U.S. troops and let them know that they actually stood a chance in fighting against Japan. Doolittle came up with a plan to try something that had never yet been done. He wanted to fly bombers off an aircraft carrier. They were not even sure if the runway would be long enough for the bombers to successfully take off. Um, they did successfully test it and it was going to work, so they developed a plan to, that included 16 different plans. I mean, 16 different planes. Um, on April 18th, 1942, the 16 planes took off after being spotted early by the Japanese, so they had to leave about um, an hour earlier than they were anticipating. And they left, which means they also had to fly a little bit longer. They dropped their bombs. Some of them hit the targets, but they did very minimal damage to Tokyo. But it's really what's quite remarkable about this mission is that these pilots knew that they would be unable to land their planes anywhere close to Japan because the territory was dominated by the Japanese. They anticipated having to land in China, but because they left early, because the, the weather was really bad and the distance they had to travel, they ended up crash landing in China. Um, and one of the planes actually went north into the Soviet Union because it was a little bit closer and they were held as prisoners of war for about two years before they were given their freedom again. But of those 80 involved, 11 died, three died in crash landing, four while in captivity, three were executed, and one died of disease. The others who managed to survive were mostly rescued by the Chinese, who were also risking their lives under the Japanese rule simply by har harboring these American soldiers.